Alright, hello everyone! Welcome back to Dark Souls, the Prepare to Die Edition. Um, yeah, this is Genesis 15 and in our, la our last last episode, you we went through, we've gone through in Orlando, and well, you saw a lot of failure at the front door. I believe when we last left off, I got killed to the giants at the, well, inside the main part of the beach. So, either way, in this episode, we've, we have pretty much refreshed. So I'm just going to continue onward. Oh, hi. And proceed to lose all my souls. I... yeah. Alright. That happened. No problems. Didn't really need those souls anyway, and I'm sure I'll probably won't miss them soon. Either way, we have a few... there are a few things we can do, we still have to do now. Um, I'll worry about... Actually... Eh, I, need, I might as well do it now. So I'm gonna, rever I'm gonna reverse my holly. Just because... I wanna try to fin I wanna finish off the thing we haven't done yet. And I also wanna get to the bo I wanna actually try to start doing the bo- I wanna try to fight- Try to fight the boss of this- Of this area as soon as I can. Yes. <coughs> Um, it's, I'll admit that it's, this is a long, this has been a long time since I've recorded, so current date is about July 18th, as opposed to, you know, when you guys probably saw my, like, last update whenever that was, I totally forgot. I'm just gonna do the scumbag way of fighting this guy, just stab him in the back. No, no magic, I don't need magic for him. So I may need to keep more careful how I approach my fight. Yep. Goodbye. <clears throat> All right, he's down. I'm just gonna go. I normally would go like through the through that room. That's how I normally do this, but that would involve me trying to fight a lance guy. Who normally I don't have problems. I just don't feel like think about. I'm gonna try to do the jump instead. And then completely miss. Of course! Of course! Of course I miss. That would make the best sense of all. Alright. Is that the... No, that's... Okay, I need to go one bit up. Apparently, I don't even know stairs anymore. Um, no, Voltaire, that is not how you jump. That is still not how you jump. Oh, for God's sakes, really? Am I having this much trouble on a simple jump? There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Leaving the. Horrible, horrible douchebags down there alone. Because well they deserve they deserve it for being just jerks. Um, first things first, I'm gonna get rid of that archer. Because he's just he's just an overall jerk and I don't want to deal with him. Second, we're going to activate this black eye orb so we can invade the world of Mr. Lautrec of Kareem to retrieve the soul of the firekeeper of Firelink Shrine that we lost. That well he murdered and took her soul. So we're gonna we don't want that. We like our bonfires. So we're gonna kill her we're gonna kill him and get it back. Nope. Nope. Yeah, what do you think about that? Oh god, nope. Come up here and find me like a man, you jerk. I'm not gonna lie, if I was able to parry that shield block, that'd been kind of cool. That would've actually seemed very, very hardcore. And as you can see, there's a summon sign there. Um, I won't, I'll tell you now, it's not a player. That is actually an NPC summon sign that you can summon, but... I won't spoil who it is, because I'm sure a lot of you probably will figure out who it is, just based on the fact that it's a golden aura. But for now... It is time to invade the world. Invader, the Firekeeper Murderer. 
as we invade them as a spirit of vengeance. Now, here's the thing about attacking Kareem, attacking Lon Trek in this, in this version. This way. He has, well, two dudes with him. A mage and a person with a spear. He's, consi he's somewhat considerably tougher to fight in this one than if you were to just murder him right from the start to avoid all this. But the reason I did this is just, eh, lore. I did it for lore, I did it for a little challenge, and I also wanted to show you guys what would happen when you bring, when you do that to the Firekeeper. Now, if I can get a hold of someone on the reticle, without angering all of them, because my goal, what I want to focus on is him, yes! There we go! Come on! Come at me, bro! Oh, hi, Lechek. Bye! And now you can kind of see how this fight can somewhat be a mess. Just for the sheer fact of, like, you have three people, like, coming at you at all at once, and my frames are dropping so bad. Oh, my. And we've just killed Lautrec, and that's how you kill Lautrec. You sorceries do your dirty work for you. <laughs> he tried to fight me with his fist, but basically we have won. And we get some souls for that, and we get a souvenir of reprisal for our, for our hard-earned efforts. So that's how, so now we've defeated Lautrec. I think we get the Firekeeper Soul, yep, we get her Firekeeper Soul, we get five human- we get a whopping five humanity, and we get the Ring of Favor and Protection. Which, I believe there is a lore bit for it, so... A, sim a ring symbolizing favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful- No, not options. Fateful beauty. This ring boosts its rare, its wears health, stamina, and maximum equipment load, but breaks if ever removed. Now, admittedly, this would, this is sort of a good ring. This is kind of a good ring, and since I have no real reason to keep Pavel's ring for now, because it wouldn't really benefit me, I'm gonna actually put this ring on. Because I can, I can kind of benefit from the extra stamina and health it gets. Gives me. Probably later on when I don't need it, I'll get rid of it, which will unfortunately shatter the ring. But thankfully, I think there's a few ways of there's a few ways of how to get an extra, another ring besides just murdering Lost Track in another game. Either way, down here we have a block. We have a blacksmith, and I, if I remember how to get, if I remember correctly, we can get behind him. There we go. And behind here is, a, <clears throat> is the Hawk Ring, which is another, which will sound familiar to a lot of people, actually. Well, actually, no, it won't sound familiar to you guys because it's the first ring, first ring of a set we've got, we've acquired. One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn. The Hawk Ring belonged to Hawkeye Golf, who led the great archers. Boosts his bow range that, so that arrows fly like they were shot by Groff's great bow, which took down high flying dragons. So if you were running a build that required the use of bows and arrows and pretty much a lot of sniping tactics, this is a good ring for you. But either way, let's talk to this man. Yes, this is the this is the giant blacksmith. And it's, he's, a, he's a good guy, actually. I like him personally. Um, basically, he, the main gimmick with him is he can turn and he can turn your weapons into boss weapons. He can, he can take boss souls, take the souls of bosses you killed and turn them into weapons. And turn them into actual weapons, which is kind of which is cool. Which is cool. Uh, I'm here.
here to have a couple upgrade. Well, that's, that's a shame. I was hoping I could have improved something. It's probably starting, so. So I have a few plans. I have a few. But yes, I, I, I plan on doing that, Mr. Also, there's a few things you can do over here. Like clearing these back, like clearing these back again. Because surprise, surprise, this is a, there's a second, there's a door over here, but it's not the actual door we want to open. Ow! Oh dear God! Nope! 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 You get away from me, you gangly bastard! Either way, you can open this door and it'll just be an extra, a little extra shortcut to the giant blacksmith. Just, if you were to run, you'd pretty much just run past that golem into the door and just make your way. Just run past the bat demons if you felt like it made it up here and just continued running up the stairs, I guess. That's one way of doing it. Um, but. What I'm going to attempt to do now is I'm going to attempt to kill those two golems. The two, those two giants in the in the main court hall, or at least the one, specifically the one near the door, which is the way out, kill them, and maybe do the boss. Hopefully I can do the boss by then. That's my main hope. That is actually my main hope. Or did I already open the door? No, I did not open the door yet. Alright, just gonna wait for one of them to turn away so we can actually engage in round two with this giant man. Come on! Apparently the other one wants a, wants a piece of me as well. Okay, this could be this could actually be bad. Ah, no, you don't see me. No, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, this is nerve-wracking, yeah. Okay, he's going away, that's good. Slam your shield down, slam your shield down. Why is he leaping behind the pillars? Alright, there we go. That's one of them dead. And they give 3,000 souls upon death. So, this is actually somewhat of a good place to grind. This is actually one of my places to grind, which I'll kill these two, I'll kill the archer up there, and I'll kill like the two golems that are at this front, that, is, that are hidden at this door. This is a good one, but I don't fully recommend it just because you have to deal with the terrible golems who, in my opinion, don't feel that worth it. So hooray, we've done all of Vanilando finally. I've shown you all of Vanilando there is to show that are that is of importance. That is up to date. Alright, and we'll just murder this last we'll murder this dude. And we can continue on our way. Finally. Good. Ow! Whoa, that actually hurt. <laughs> nope. No forces for you, you bastard. All right. There go. He's now gone. By all rights, I should try to cover my. I should probably use my souls wisely, but um, nope. So I'm gonna just summon Solaire instead. For our next destination is the boss. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna, more than likely, I'm going to die my first, I'm gonna die this first time. Because I'm kind of bad at, I'm kind of terrible fighting this guy. I'm very terrible fighting this, but I'm very terrible at this boss. So thinking this is kind of a wretched, 
So basically, this is like, this is pretty much my way of saying, like, you guys think I'm really good. For those who've been see seen me fight the bosses, and I've done relatively well. This is where it's kind of changing. I will pretty much die a lot. This is going to be, this is the death dodge of this game. So, let us begin. Welcome to Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Executioner Smo. This is a tag team battle against one of the four knights of Gwyn, the Dragon Slayer, the wielder of the Leo Ring, said to have cleaved boulders in two with his there with his spear. And Executioner Smo, a cannibal, whose whose love of people forever kept him from becoming a knight. And you fight both of these two at the same time. Solaire is kinda useless fighting them, but he's, he has his use for pretty much getting them off your back, which is good. At least in the initial part. Quit jumping up, Smo! Take your arrows! Take your magic! It's good for you. Now, the reason I'm going after Smell. <clears throat> oh! oh my god! Ah! Okay, I apologize for that. Like, extremely panicky sound, but seriously, I. I get terrified of very easily fighting these guys together. But generally, but what you want to do, you want to kill one of them. Be it Ornstein or Smo. It really doesn't matter who you kill afterwards. You just want to kill one of them. And I'm hoping I can kill one of them before Solaire dies, because I'd rather not have like the tag team of Doom at me. I'm gonna waste all of my heavy soul arrows. Let's go! I smell. No, 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 no! Wow, he pushed me so far away. Maybe it would have been better to use like the great soul arrows, maybe, because those would have done more damage and I'd have hit faster. Okay, that, that happened. But then again, this is the first time I've, I'm actually attempting to fight them with sorcery. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna rehum, I'm gonna turn, reverse my Halloween, and I'll meet you guys at the. I'm gonna meet you guys back over at the. I'm gonna meet you guys back at the boss gate. So I'll be, I'll be right back. Well, this is going to be terrible because I'm being invaded by the loved cheetah. Um, this can be very bad because I don't know where he is. And I also have the two giants at my heels. So, I'm gonna see if there's a way I can, like, cheat this out. I uh, have a homework phone. Yes, I do actually. I'm gonna use that to get out of here. Oh no 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 no! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! No! No! Stop it! Stop! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! 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 Oh my! How did I? How did I survive that? How did I survive that? He has play lag. No! 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 You stay away from me. Holy crap. I literally I don't care anymore. I cannot quit. Crap, 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 crap. No, no, no. No. I do not want to lose all my souls because of you. 
bastard. No, get away. No! You bastard! Oh, I so hate you. Oh, I hate you. You go away. <sighs> Invaded by a dick raid. I really should have figured that was going to happen eventually. The horrors when you're hollow is when you get invaded by jerks like him. Alright. Well, I've lost all of my souls that were in the boss that would have been kind of nice to still have. So I'll just meet you guys back. Assuming we don't get invaded. Well, pro I probably won't have to be worried about being invaded now since I've already died. I'm annoyed by that. Alright, Solaire, come on. Come on, Solaire. else into the mix there it would be very helpful. Bean pole head really oh it's a joke against like quarantine because he's like Alright round two with Ornstein and Smo Really, I have to. Alright. Okay. So, as you can tell, Ornstein right here, he's able to use the. Oh wow. Ornstein really does not like magic, too. Ornstein is able to use lightning based abilities. Or as well, tries to crush with that giant hammer of his. Which I have to be extremely careful because I am unable to. Hits. How sauce I am. But thankfully, this is kind of the more ideal situation where Orantine is preoccupied by me, by Orantine, by Solaire, and I have Orantine's smells attention to be able to hit him. Although, I. Although, Solaire is doing a lot better in terms of killing Ornstein, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Whoa, okay, Ornstein, where'd you come from? Why'd you attack me? I forget this is probably one of the, be the downsides to fighting both of them, is they can sometimes sneak up on you. Like, Orn especially Ornstein, okay, because that guy is just... Okay, I used the ball so much, so let's go go for the heavy. Rabbit fire! Rabbit fire! If I can do this correctly... Smo is down, so now begins the true- now begins one of the two fights, a branching path. Say hello to Super Ornstein! Basically now, we fight... Basically now, since Smo is dead, Ornstein has absorbed the soul of Smo and is pretty much giant. But he's still just as fast as always. So what am I going to do in the meantime? Is I'm just going to be a massive coward and hit him with my sorceries. Basically, Ornstein's tactics hardly change at all. In fact, he, I think he just acts the same, only he's just massive. There's one new, there's two new attacks in his repertoire now that he's a giant. 
One is pretty much he takes one of the abilities that Smo does, which is this, and does sort of a butt slam. And the second one, I don't want to, him to pull out because more than likely if I get caught by that one, I'll probably die. And that is Smo dead. That is Solaire dead, unfortunately, but, but that's alright because he did his job. So now I'm gonna pretty much play the avoidance game and just tag. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the other move he was going to do. Basically, what happens when he does that with the spear, and if you're hit by it, he picks you up in the air with his spear, impaled, impaled on his spear, lifts you in the air, discharges with lightning, and you pretty much will almost instantly die. And I'm just waiting for Ornstein to stop shooting, chucking spears of lightning at me. So I can get a better try to hit him. There we go. Alright. I'm actually legitimately shocked that I'm a bad kill orange team. In fact, I'm seriously surprised I'm doing this well. No! No! Okay, I almost died for I almost died trying to pull off comedic death comedic kill. I still want to try to do. <laughs> and that is how you kill Orcsine. Just poke him. Crap, sorry about that. We'll get rid of that. But yes, Orcsine has been finished. We've got his soul, a humanity. And since we killed him, we get the Leo ring. Which is exclusively his ring. Now if you killed if you killed or now the difference in this fight is if you were killing if you killed Orcsine first. You would be fighting Super Smo, who pretty much he does not change at all. He's pretty much the entire. He's just himself the entire way. The only difference is his entire his hammer pretty much does electrical damage now, and his butt slam does the same thing that Super Smo Ornstein does. Only it's a bigger radius, and it's much more devastating, and will probably kill you easily. And for killing La Tre and our reward for killing La Trek as well is this corpse will appear over here with. His armor of the embraced. Oh, I think there's some lore. Helm of Lautrec of the Embra embraced, representing the goddess Venus' love. During his solitude, he forsook everything, for he believed in the goddess' love for him. And I believe the armor itself has a different one. Armor of Lautrec the embraced, embra representing the goddess Venus' love. The goddess' arms wrap around him. If so. As if to embrace the wearer. Yeah, everything else just pretty much mentions the same as the helmet. So yes, you could definitely say from what you see from his armor, he pr I, it's a, it's pretty much implied that he murdered the firekeeper in order to present the soul to his to Fina, who he believed he loved. I guess. Probably not exactly in those contexts, and I'm probably looking too deep into it, but that's what I see at least. Either way, I'm going to put that much into my intellect for now. Actually, I'm curious if there is any point in two adding in my achievements. 23 gets me 6. If I do that. That. All right, that's good. At least the good thing is I can now use my soul. S I can now use the soul spear. Which imagine if that hitting one of them, that would have been actually cool. Well, I would have actually liked that immediately. Actually, actually repairing some of this stuff. But now, more importantly, our new destination. 
And some quattro ovations come for us now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>